Hello and welcome back. It is Ranger Candace and like we said in our last video, we are going to work together to create a craft um, on Drury's Bluff. You can make your own ironclad ship. Now we are here in my apartment, um, so just a little warning, I might be cat bombed during the video. This is Ziggy. Uh, Elfie might be running around somewhere. Uh, so I do apologize. Kitties like to be on, on they like pictures taken of them. But we're gonna work together to create our own ironclads. Now, we are not going out to the store to buy crafts. We are gonna use what we can find in our house. Things like egg containers. Take a look at them. They actually, once painted up, make perfect little earthworks for forts, like Drury's Bluff. And we're gonna use things like cardboard boxes and toilet paper rolls, a rare, precious commodity these days, to create our own ironclad ship, like I've created the monitor. And we're gonna use these things, just things that we can find around our house. Junk, trash, we're gonna convert it into something cool. Now, once we're done here, you can make your own ironclad ship. You don't have to make the monitor. You can make whatever kind of ship you want. It could be like the Galena. It could be like the Virginia. You can design your own. The sky is the limit. And once you have created your ironclad, I want to see it. So once you have created your ironclad using whatever you have in your house, I want you to email your creation to me at Candace underscore heart at NPS.gov. I want to see your creations and maybe we can post it to show everybody on Facebook. But here is my email, Candace underscore heart at NPS.gov. So if you've got that written down, I'm gonna hold this up just a couple more seconds. If you've got that written down, and then once you have it written down, we're gonna to get to crafting to make an ironclad ship. All right, so if you have collected uh, some items from home, um, but you're still wondering about what you could grab, here are some ideas, some things that I found around my apartment that might work. Um, but you have little coffee creamer cups or maybe even cups that come from cure eggs. I don't actually have one um, So this was the closest I had but if you have some little coffee cups that you make your cup of coffee out of those would work too uh, a top from a like a coffee jar or something like that a jar of peanut butter or something like that the monitor, the ironclad itself, was pretty flat, so it was just kind of a flat ship, but it had this turret on it. The turret was a round little container, it was armored, and it had the guns inside of it. And the, the turret actually lifted up and it could turn and it could shoot in different directions. So rather than turn the ship, they could lift it up and they could rotate it around and shoot without having to move the ship. So the turret, all you need is something round. So something like this could work, top of a container, or again, those little coffee Keurig mugs. Um, you also have your toilet paper rolls. Toilet papers are actually really good size for this, good shape for it, perfectly round um, and exactly the size that you need. So toilet paper rolls are really a good go-to uh, for making the turret. Uh, so those are some ideas, and if, if you have, you wanna make the guns, for it, all you need is a straw. If you got some straws laying around your house, you know, maybe have one from going out to eat or something, take that straw, you can cut it up, and now you have a nice little cannon barrel. I made a little tiny cannon here out of a piece of this straw. So just some ideas of things that you can collect around your house to create your own little ironclad. And like I said, for the earthworks, all you need is an egg carton. So once you finish up with those eggs, instead of throwing it away, you could cut this and turn it into a fort, uh, which you can use for your army men or your Legos or something like that. Okay, so those are just some ideas. So some of the materials you're gonna need today, and you can make this however you want, um, but you have tape um, or glue. So however you want to fix your turret to your, your boat, tape or glue, um, you'll need some guidance, some adult supervision, but you can also use a hot glue gun because hot glue guns can get kind of hot. So you want to make sure that you have a little bit of supervision when you're using your hot glue gun. But that's another thing that you can use 
um, for making your craft. So all you need is just some glue, some tape, something that you can use. I just use tape uh, to stick my turret onto my ship. Um, but you can also use glue as well to glue it on and then just give it some time to, to dry up, okay? All right, so now that we have some of our crafting stuff, we have our glue, we have our little pieces there, the next thing we need is cardboard. The cardboard is going to be the base of the ship. Okay, just like my base here. Again, the monitor sat really low in the water, so there really isn't much to it. It was pretty much just a little round turret on a surfboard. So you don't have to worry too much about building this big body of a ship. It was a very flat boat. So all I have is a piece of cardboard here, and all you need to do is on this card piece of cardboard is just kind of draw the shape of a surfboard, just kind of like this. I mean, it is just draw that out. So just kind of draw your little surfboard here, boom, and then cut it out. So perfect shape for our ironclad ship. All you need is a piece of cardboard here, draw the shape of the body, and then give it a good cut. So just give me a second and I'll have this cut out and we'll get to the next part. All right, so I have cut out my little surfboard shape that we had just done. Um, and I have one that I actually made off camera earlier, so I'm gonna use both of these to show two different examples. And they are different sizes, so I have like, you know, a bigger ship and a smaller ship. There were many different kinds of uh, ironclad ships. There were actually more than one type of monitor. The monitor was the first of its kind. And again, it was a very advanced ship because the turret could lift up and rotate. Um, but there were also other ones. They built different kinds of monitors. So the monitor was the first, and it's the reason why they named the, the class of ship the monitor. Um, but there were other kinds of monitors. There were actually some monitors that were longer and had two turrets on it. So they, there were different monitor ships and they all looked kind of different. Again, you can design whatever you like. If you end up wanting two turrets on there, just like that, you would not be inaccurate. That is how it looked, okay? So use your imagination, design your own ship. But what we're gonna do today, for mine, since I have two here, I'm gonna do one with my little coffee creamer, okay? Put that one, put that one there. And then the other one, I'm going to use the toilet paper roll, which at this moment kind of looks like Abraham Lincoln's top hat, so tall. So the first thing, this one's pretty easy. We're gonna take our little coffee creamer, got our glue here, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here on this rim um, and then just kind of glue around the edge of it. Just get a nice little layer of glue on there. And then, very easy, stick that on your monitor. Okay, and then we're gonna let that sit for a little while to let it dry. If you're using super glue or hot glue, something like that, it doesn't take as long as Elmer's glue. Um, but again, those you need a little bit of supervision for use, uh, especially super glue. Uh, super glue, you can stick your fingers together and that's a lot of fun, not really. But then also the hot glue gets really hot. So I just use Elmer's glue, pretty simple and easy. And then you let that set and let it harden up. So for the next one, I'm gonna use, this is a little bit of a bigger ship. So we're gonna use the toilet paper roll to make our turret. Nice, perfectly round roll. Now the turret's not very tall, so we don't need this whole roll. So we're gonna have to cut it to about right here. And you can do this in several ways. You could kind of bend it a little bit and you can cut, or you can cut down this way. Just cut a couple of lines like this. That way you have an opening and then you can start cutting across just like this. There you go. Cut that piece off. We're gonna clean it up, so don't worry about how it looks right now. So we're gonna clean that. I'm a little right-handed there. There we go. Okay, so let's just trim that. All right, so now I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Okay, so just kind of cut it down, whittle it down, make it nice and neat uh, for your turret to sit on top of there. 
And same thing as before, you're just gonna kind of glue it down. So just put a little bit of glue along the edge here. You don't need a whole lot, because it's just, just toilet paper roll. Just a little bit of glue around there. And then set that onto your base. And again, we're gonna have to let that dry. Now, if you really wanted to get a little decorative, The monitor had cannons. So you take your little straw and you can actually glue them onto the turret to give your gun or to give your ship a gun or two. There were two actual guns on the monitor inside that turret. Now imagine, okay, and you can see the inside because we haven't put a top on it yet, but can you imagine being inside of that turret when it was firing? It is a small can, kind of like being in a can. You know, like you open up a can of corn or a can of SpaghettiOs. Can you imagine being in that tin can while the guns are firing, when the gunpowder is exploding? It would be really loud. Uh, lots of cannoneers in the Civil War uh, ended up with hearing problems after the war because of the cannons going off. Okay, so just... Now I'm putting my other, my second one, put it right next to it. The two guns were right next to each other. So now you have some guns on your monitor. Kind of looks like eyes though. Let's see, kind of looks like little eyes. Kind of cute. All right. Now we do not have a top for our turret. If you want to put a top on it, that is really easy to do. All you need to do is just grab some kind of paper. If you have cardstock or just a piece of paper, uh, you can use that, just cut out a piece, just cut out a little piece of it, right there, okay? And I'm just gonna eyeball, just kind of a round shape here, and then once we get it on there, we can trim it to size. So I just kind of eyeballed that, but then once we get it on there, you can trim it. And you can even do this before you put your turret down, before you glue it on. You can glue this on, you can tape it on, and then just trim around the edges to make it fit. Okay? So we'll go on and we'll do that. Just put a little glue on top. And again, you can design this any way you want. You can make your own ironclad ship. It does not have to look like this. It could look like anything that you want it to look like. It could look like a spaceship if you wanted it to. This is your creation. Okay, just put that on top and then we'll just trim around the edges a little bit. Like that. Get rid of that little piece there. Throw it over here. Let's trim a little more. Get that little edge right there. Boop. There we go. Okay. All right. So there we go. So I have my turret on, and now I just need to let it set so that the glue can actually harden up. And then we'll come back uh, to paint it afterwards. But while we're letting it harden up, we're gonna work on some earthworks so that we can have our own fort. So that'll be the next thing we do. So you'll need to grab your egg carton, and then we will work on creating our own Drury's Bluff. All right, so we are back. I kind of cleaned off my space here a little bit. Don't need to glue so I can set that kind of to the side. Don't need those, we'll set those to the side. All right, so now we have our egg carton and this egg carton can be used for different things. Um, for earthworks, this interior here, this looks really neat. Uh, this would be awesome if you wanted to make like a castle or something. These could be like the walls or it could be some really neat earthworks. Uh, for your Jury's Bluff. Um, but for me, what I used earlier was the little carton that held the egg itself. So the little bitty cup. So all you need to do is just come in here and cut some of these out, okay? It's gonna be a little loud, so we're gonna cut this off camera and then we'll come back once we have them cut out. All right, so um, now that I have cut them out, we have our egg carton pieces. I only cut out two pieces, uh, the little cups that hold the eggs. Again, I use them to make my earthworks. 
Um, and then, but I also really like that interior, that uh, other piece that was on the lid, because that's kind of cool too. Like, that you could definitely paint that up to be earthworks. Um, each one of these would be where a cannon would sit. That would be really cool. So I really like this piece too. So I cut that piece out too for playing around with. Now earthworks, uh, like a jury's bluff, were built because dirt um, was very good at protecting the soldiers um, from getting shot. So when they were building these fortifications at Drury's Bluff, they didn't have a lot of stone and uh, brick and things like that. They certainly didn't have time to get all of those materials to build the fort. Um, plus, if you hammer a fort made out of stone or brick enough with cannonballs, you can tear that wall down. Whereas dirt is a little more durable. Um, dirt is readily available. It is right there and they could just dig, 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 build it up. Um, and now you have very strong earthen walls that can, when you hit it with a cannonball, it can kind of absorb the impact of the cannonball. So Drury's Bluff was an earthen fort and they just dug, dug, dug until they built it. Now, so to make this earth, we're gonna paint it. It's really all you gotta do. Um, just get yourself some brown paint like I have here. Uh, if you already have some, if you can't paint it, then you can use what we call theater of the mind. You can just pretend, pretend that it's brown. But if you do have some paint, um, just grab your paint. And I like to paint, as you can see, my palette is really gross. I have all kinds of dried paint on here. Um, but I do like painting. I like to paint little miniatures that go in my forts. But just grab your, your brown paint and paint it up. It will take a couple of layers, but really just only two, and it's very quick to do. Uh, it also dries really fast. So just paint up these earthworks, and before you know it, you will have a nice fort. And you can do these in pieces like I have done so that you can design the shape of your fort. Forts come in different shapes and sizes, um, but a very popular one during the Civil War is called a star fort. They would actually design the fort in the shape of a star. And so you can cut out your pieces and then set them up in any design that you like. Now, since we are working with paint, you're gonna wanna make sure that you put down some newspaper because you don't wanna end up painting on your nice counter or on your nice table. Uh, so definitely put down some newspaper before you start painting. I'm using my little little craft mat here, so I'm not too worried about it. But when you're making this at home, definitely put down some paper. And be careful that you don't end up getting paint all over the place, okay? Because sometimes I forget that I'm painting and I end up, end up with paint on my face, you know? So you don't wanna do that. Okay, so just paint this up and then let it dry and then come back and paint another layer on top. All right, so we have our earthworks. They are actually drying um, in the kitchen. So I'm gonna let them dry and then I'll come back and put another coat of paint on those um, so that they end up looking kind of like this. Uh, so now we're gonna go and paint our ironclads. Now make sure that when you go and paint your ironclad that you give it time to actually dry. So you wanna make sure that the glue and everything dries up and hardens up so that it's nice and strong. Um, and then to paint it, all you need to do is just grab some paint. If you have any paint, if you don't have any paint, again, theater of the mind, you can just pretend that this is, you know, whatever color you want it to be. The ships were black, uh, the monitor was black, um, the underside was kind of a reddish color, but you could decide to paint it any color you want. If you want it to be blue to kind of blend in, almost like it is, you know, hiding in the water, like a stealth boat, that would be kind of cool. So paint it however you want. Um, I do have black here, so we're gonna go on and open this up. Again, you're gonna wanna put down some paper, some uh, newspaper or something like that that you have. I'm using my mat here, my crafting mat, so I don't really matter. You know, it doesn't matter if I get it, a little bit of paint on it. Um, but all you're gonna do is just paint up your monitor. So just give it a good coat of black paint or whatever color paint that you want to put on it. Okay, so just give it a good paint. And paint 
paint up. Now, living in the monitor during the battle, uh, if you saw the earlier video, it was rough to be in this boat. It was advanced technology at the time. Um, they had very nice living area and all for the officers inside of the ship. And it was very advanced. The rotating turret was new. It was new technology. And it was a very glamorous ship because it was new. Whenever there was a monitor at a battle, they would make sure that the monitor was at the front of the battle line of ships. So being on one of these ships was kind of glamorous. You were kind of the new thing on the block, the new ship on the block. And so everybody wanted you, you know, to kind of be at the front of the battle. But being on this ship was actually very miserable. It was very hot inside. Uh, with temperatures ranging between 140 to 150 degrees. Uh, and while this, this ship was at Drury's Bluff, uh, there were all kinds of poisonous fumes from the gun fire. The cannon, the gun, um, when the cannons would fire, the gunpowder would explode and the smoke was filling the ship up with all kinds of toxic fumes. And so the men were actually uh, choking and suffocating inside of the ship. It was very, very rough. They were passing out from heat exhaustion um, inside of the ship. So it was very, very rough. Um, the ship was always hot. The engines were going and with all the people inside of it and the cannons firing, it was just always hot, especially in the summertime. Uh, they said the only time that it got comfortable on the ship was in the winter time because it was cold outside. So the heat of the ship felt great. But during the summertime, a lot of the, the ships, even the Confederate version, which is the uh, Merrimack, once they redo it, it's called the Virginia. So you hear the Virginia mostly. Um, but even those crews, it was so hot inside, they couldn't sleep in the ship at night. They would have to sleep on top of the ship or they would have to go to shore and sleep on the shore because it was just way too hot to be in the ship. Uh, so kind of rough. Now the monitor also had issues because they, during the battle when they were around Drury's Bluff, they were running out of food and water. And they were in enemy territory. They're, this is a northern ship. This is a Union ship. And they are down here in the James River on the outskirts of the Confederate capital. And so they started running out of food and water. And they were having to drink water from the James River, which is not clean. If you Go back and watch Ranger Stephanie's uh, video on the five deadliest items. Uh, one of those, the most deadliest item is actually the water. Unclean water has germs in it and it makes the soldiers sick. So this, the soldiers here were drinking the water from the James River and they were getting sick on the ship. So a very miserable experience to be on this monitor, um, but a very glamorous one as well because you knew you were going to be the talk of the town if you came steaming into into that town. Uh, so I have painted up my monitor. It really, unlike the earthworks, it only requires one uh, coat of paint. So here is my monitor that I have painted up that we have crafted together. Again, you can design yours however you want to make it look like however you want, whatever color you want. Um, and then once you have it finished, set up your own battle scene. You know, have the monitor steaming up to your Drury's Bluff. You know, take your, your egg cartons here and set them up in however you want your fort to be. Uh, I have some miniatures. If you have some Legos, you can set them up as defenses. Here's one. You can set them up as defenses. And then you can have your own Drury's Bluff diorama. Okay, so like I said, take a picture, create your own Drury's Bluff and send it to me, my email, which I shown at the beginning of this video, email it to me. I want to see what your creations look like. Thank you. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed this craft. Have fun crafting and have a good day.